How will the new health care reform bill affect the business world? Local and state leaders got together at IPFW today to talk about just that. Tonight, News Channel 15's Alyssa Ivinson has some highlights from that forum. Steve Jackson specializes in health care law. At an IPFW health care reform discussion today, he said the bottom line is the new law is bad for small businesses. It's a tremendous burden on business at a time when it's tough to be in business. Jackson says business owners should meet with their benefit advisors to see what coverage they can afford to offer the employees. Under the new law, most companies would face a fine for dropping coverage. Some businesses are simply not going to be able to handle the increased costs and they may decide uh, to pay the tax. And that's a bad outcome for their employees. The Fort Wayne Chamber of Commerce has been flooded with questions. There's still so many unknowns. I mean, even the federal government at this point has not defined what, the, you know, what is going to be an affordable plan. For insurance company Physicians Health Plan, the biggest hit will come from the medical loss ratio. I can lose money or I can break even. So I can't make a big profit to put the money back in the bank to pay claims tomorrow when I lose money again. While businesses figure out what to do, Indiana's Attorney General is joining 19 other states in a lawsuit calling in to check the federal government's authority. Uh, they say they can regulate and tax an individual's decision not to participate in interstate commerce. Uh, it's an open question and we're going to do it very quickly and respectfully. A Supreme Court ruling is expected before individual health care mandates kick in in 2012. Alyssa Ivinson, News Channel 15.